Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, welcome to today's session on understanding the teaching system. That was IQ. Uh, this is Nellie Deutsch. And if you could just add in the chat box uh, where you are and anything else you'd like to add, feel free to use uh, the chat box as we go. Um, you can add anything that comes to mind and try to see what it feels like to use the chat box freely, something that we can't do in the real physical classroom or at a conference or anywhere where someone is speaking informally or formally and we want to uh, show them respect and not speak at the same time. Something that we can only do online and it is very respectful and encouraged to speak at the same time by texting. Of course, not speaking with audio, but just texting. So good to see you. Um, it's been a while. Yes, uh, I've been at a conference in Finland. It's been amazing. And I have a toy that, uh, that I'd like to share with you. Uh, that's an elf, a Finnish elf, how they view um, elves. All right, so we've got Brazil, we've got the UK, and people will be coming as we go. They'll also be uh, viewing the recording, which is not the same, because during the recording, you cannot uh, use the chat, chat box, and um, it's a different kind of energy. And it's really a uh, traditional way of learning when you can't uh, engage in texting at the same time. So we've got uh, Mexico as well and any other countries that I missed here? Argentina. All right, so today you're going to be busy. I hope a lot of people turn up because you can't really do um, teamwork unless there are enough members or at least uh, more than two teams to make it effective. And this is about uh, teamwork and the Reika room. So a little bit about me, uh, you can read. I think the focus that uh, I come with is the relationship based because I think that that's the most important part, whether online or face to face, is really connecting. And you might want to think about whether you can connect in two ways and what it means to connect in a virtual classroom as we go and see if you find that there is some kind of communication, especially in the breakout rooms. Okay, so that's just a little bit about me as people come in. And I just like to do a bit of housekeeping um, here and remind you that you can get a certificate uh, for the live online sessions. All you need to do is reflect on at least 10 throughout the year. But if you reflect on five, you also get a certificate. The reflections include a 500 word reflection, which means that you answer about 10 questions. And I'm going to share uh, the questions with you so that you're able to do this. And let me do that now. Okay, so this is uh, the link. It's a Google Drive. There's the link to uh, the reflective. Oh, you did it yesterday. That's great. The reflective questions. And you create a video of your reflection. You can do this using uh, MoveNote, Present Me, which I don't like because it costs money. But you can use Present Me. Uh, you can use Screencast-O-Matic, which is free. And you can use any other tools that you're happy with, even if they cost money. And then you share the link of your work and you submit it to either uh, Moodle for Teachers and you get a certificate there on the Moodle. And if you're looking for the certificate area, it's Moodle for Teachers. The reason it's there and it's on a Moodle is because that's where I can um, actually evaluate what you're doing and you get a hundred if you answer all the questions 
and the system allows you to get a certificate. So the certificate is generated on Moodle, which is why I do it there. All right, and these are some of the questions. Okay, you can go through that, but you've got the uh, Google Drive doc so that you can do it there. And all the explanations are right there. All right, so before we get started, are there any questions, anything that you'd like to ask before we even step into what we're gonna be doing today? Any questions? Feel, as I said, feel free to use the chat box um, for anything. And just as you're moving in your chair, <laughs> I'm moving in my chair too. So, um, all right. So if you think of a question later on, feel free to ask it. If you think of a question after the session, you're invited to ask it. That's a good question, Carl. That's an excellent question, in fact. That's right. Uh-huh. So you must have gone through the PowerPoint presentation. You may have to use your audio, use your microphone, but that's not really necessary. It is important in the breakout room and we'll get to it or into a virtual classroom if you're teaching virtually in the Wiz IQ class. Okay, so um, Lopez, if you want to know where you're invited to um, ask questions, let me go to the question area. It's in the, it's called the course feed. Okay, and here are the two areas. This is one area, and you can copy the chat at the end of the session. Let me get a color here. There we go. So there's the link to where you can ask questions. And if you're interested in the link where you can add your reflections, and I said it's moodleforteachers.org, you need to have an account there. And if you're having problems, uh, please email me and I'll be able to um, create the account for you, okay, on the Moodle. So let's um, go into that right now so I can show you where it is and where you can get uh, the certificate. Okay, so um, I'll share that in the chat box. Okay, so this is the link. Let me just write it. I'll just write get a certificate so when you um, and you can click on it at the end when you copy the chat okay so that's the area where you get the certificate it's very easy you just submit and once you submit the certificates you should I mean the uh, reflection you should be able to get your certificate all right so uh, a little bit about me there and e-leadership now what is this Okay, what is the presenter doing? If you had to describe it, or what's happening? If you had to describe that, um, you can put keywords in the chat box, or you can write sentences, or, okay, so describe what is going on. Conference. That's right. That was the conference. That's right. That was me at the Ed Media Conference in uh, Tem Tampere. That's how they pronounce it in Finland. Lecturing. Very good, Rob. Thank you so much for that. That's right. Lecturing. I'm not sure if I would say teaching, but it certainly is lecturing. And what what happens during lecturing? Checking reading. Yeah, it is a lecture theater, Carl, that's right, at the University of uh, Tampere. <laughs> okay, they, they taught me how to pronounce that. Thank you, Guadalupe. Um, Rob, yes, um, it is speaking about something, hopefully. It's not just standing there, but it's a one-way communication, Rob, and I'm glad you mentioned that. Okay, it's it's one way in one sense, but you can think of it as a two way, but it certainly is going from the uh, presenter and the question is what is re being received and is the presenter getting any cues from the audience? They may, but it's, um, 
it's pretty much going from the presenter out to the audience. Anything else? Well, about relationships, since I, it's really important for me to connect with whoever is, you know, part of the audience. Can't really do it there. Very difficult to do it. The students, no, it's not about falling asleep. If they fall asleep, then it's definitely a one way. But it's going from the participant. There could be questions. You're right, Carl. There could be questions coming from the audience, and then the presenter is answering. But you don't really get to know your audience. Very difficult to get the audience because there's no hands-on, and you, you can't get. You, there were, I don't know how many people there. Could be thousands of people in the audience, and you're not really connecting with them. You're speaking at a, uh, I don't know, at someone that is not really there. You're kind of capturing the audience as one, and they're not. They're individuals, so there's no really individualized uh, connection there. And just to tell you, um, a woman came up to me at the airport, and she said, I'm really sorry. I said, what do you mean? You were at my conference, and you asked a question. I mean, you were at my session, and she was presenting in such a hall, and you asked me a question, and I feel that I didn't give you the attention that I needed. I said, what are you talking about? In other words, she came to conclusions based on a question that I asked, and she felt that she had not answered me appropriately. And she wanted that one-on-one -on -one connection, which she happened to get at the airport. We sat down. She was from New Zealand. We talked about different things. We got to know one another, and we became friends at the airport. But we, there was no way we could have connected during her uh, presentation. Okay, so it's really, thank you, Mark, it's really speaking at, and, and when you speak at a huge audience, who do you have in mind exactly? Yes, Carl, <laughs> she did, but that's because she knew who I was, and that's why she felt uncomfortable, yeah, but she couldn't really connect during the session and I think that that's what's important and and if we hadn't been at the same airport you know waiting and she hadn't seen me you know if 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 we would never have connected after the session okay and that's what you lack uh when you speak from the podium okay and it is speaking from the podium and you can see I'm standing there actually I wasn't standing like this by the way I took this photo before before the set before the uh, the session began I would never stand like this <laughs> okay so that's not how I stood during the session this was just like before okay just for the photo exactly Guadalupe but you don't really know for sure all right so what do you see here okay um, what do you think this is? Any ideas? It's the team. <laughs> Very good, Carl. That's uh, that's one way. A group of speakers could be group of speakers, and they were in fact Lopez. Thank you. They became a group of speakers. They did not begin as a group of speakers, but it is being a personal. That's right. Very very personal. It got super personal, but personal in a good way. Okay, you can see that everyone is uh, connected in some way. You can see that even though we're looking at the camera, we do have something in our hearts. And this was after the workshop. Okay, we gave a workshop, a Moodle for Teachers workshop. And each one of the participants became a teacher during the work workshop, and they presented, each one of them. We even have a blind student. Uh, even the blind student right here presented. So everyone presented. At the end of the workshop, you can see Dr. Ludmila Smirnova and myself here. And we became very, very close friends, extremely close. After the workshop, we met, we went on a boat uh, 
cruise together uh, in Tampere. So um, he's from Tobago. He's from Turkey. We've got Tampere. She's in charge of all the uh, uh, administration at the universities of Finland. He's from Mexico. We've got Singapore, Finland, and Switzerland. So quite a few countries, different cultures. And I can tell you that we became very, very close as a group. We had dinner together. So that's what happens in a workshop. And this is a hands-on workshop. We work together very, very closely. Everyone worked because we had a uh, blind student. Everyone recorded themselves through Poodle on the Moodle so he could hear because he couldn't see the text. So it was really, really exciting and an amazing session where the participants became very active. Now, how can you become active? You notice that there are only, I believe, seven seven participants and two facilitators. That's And everybody worked together. But if you have thousands and thousands of participants in a hall, it's very hard to work unless you break out. So you can have a live session, a presentation, and then you can break out. If it's face-to-face -face, into small rooms, you can different places. And the breakout rooms, this is the... Um, the university in Tampere. But where can you break out from a big hall? Okay, where exactly can you break out and engage in learning in smaller groups so that you can connect? Any ideas, any suggestions? Feel free to use the chat box. Everything you say is perfect because it's your ideas smaller groups. But where exactly in the smaller groups? Separate rooms. So what, hello Peter, so what kind of rooms? In teams, side rooms, yes Rob, sometimes there are these rooms, classrooms, that's right. Any others to work together, you're running, that's right, you're all correct, that's right. Corners, that's interesting. In one, exactly, this could have been done in the hall, in, and you could get together, and that's what we do in our classrooms very often. I know that's what I do. And you have um, places in the classroom. So you have a group working in one area of the classroom, one physical class classroom, and you break out. But everybody hears everybody, more or less, so there's a bit of noise. How did you know? I'm sorry, I can't read Arabic. I wish I could. So what is your name there? Maha. Hello, Maha. Good to see you. Glad to have you with us. And Maha is correct. Okay, that is definitely what happens. And if you go into the, <laughs> into the content, you will see the PowerPoint presentation uh, for this session. And the next slide certainly does tell you where. Okay, so that's Thank you so much for uh, sharing that. I'm going to share the link to the live class with you. Okay, there's the link to the PowerPoint presentation so you can follow. Excellent. There's no cheating when it comes online. Everything is correct. So if anyone uh, is curious and goes on and gets information, that's not cheating. That's sharing. So thank you, Maha, for sharing. So this is one place where you can have the, um, the breakout rooms or the rooms where you can... You, breakout means breaking out of one area where you are many people into smaller learning environments or places where you can learn. Now, how many of you um, have had small groups, teamwork, in the cafeteria. Anyone with a cafeteria? Hello, Sylvinia. Good to see you. 
Yes. Okay, Lopez. All right. You can make typos. I make them all the time. I make mistakes when I write. Uh, yes, exactly. At a university. That's right. And it's wonderful to be able to be in such an informal and personal environment because eating is not a public thing. Okay. It's something personal. It's bringing ourselves to each other. So this is an area where we had discussions, not for the workshop because that's that was small, but you can have it in a dining room or a restaurant. Uh, okay, and this is, I don't know if you know, recognize any of these people, but we had a breakout room at the Viking, uh, which is a restaurant in Tampere. And you can see, I don't know if you know, Kurt Bonk. Um, and Mark. So we also have a lot of people here. Um, we've got people from Australia, uh, originally from Argentina, now living in the United States. We've got two scholars from the United States. Um, we've got a participant from Florida, and Mark, who's originally from the UK. He's the marketing person. He worked in Dubai for many years. The marketing person in Tampere at the university he markets e-learning courses that they create around the world. Okay, so that's an example of not the cafeteria, but going out together and having fun. Uh, we had a lot of fun and also working. Okay, we also got some work done. Okay, for learning. And here you can see the participants of the workshop presenting. Okay, there is Tia presenting her work at the workshop, and everybody presented. Okay, any questions so far? Right now, we're getting into the mood of learning in small groups and breaking out of large areas into smaller ones because we want to connect personally and learn together. Okay, so feel free to ask questions as we go. And if you lose audio, it might let me know. It looks like it's pretty low. Let me know if the audio is okay. Okay, it's fine now. I see that it's um, it seemed to be low. It's okay. So let me know if it drops or something. All right. So breakout rooms in a virtual classroom is just like a breakout room in a real face-to-face -face situation where you can also bring your food to the virtual classroom, but you can also bring your food to a large classroom. So that's not really uh, uh, the point here. I'm just testing the microphone. It seems to be really low. Okay, maybe it's just showing that it's low, but it's okay. The breakout room in a virtual classroom. How many of you have tried the virtual breakout room? Virtual means in a live online class. It could be in a in, on WizIQ. It could be on Adobe Connect, on Collaborate. It could be uh, on WebEx. It could be anywhere, actually. Um, there are plenty of Saba never online. Okay, so in a WizIQ and in every live online class, which includes uh, any other system, there are breakout rooms, and they serve the same purpose. Okay, exactly the same purpose, which is to connect and learn in small teams. Okay, so you're gonna be doing it today. You're gonna to be part of it, okay? So you'll get the feeling. And since I'm recording this, I'm gonna go from room to room so that you could see what's happening. All right, it's really exciting, but as I said, you need to have a few people. You can't have two people. You need to have, well, even three is a bit ridiculous. You need to have at least 10 people. All right, so before the start class, starts on WizIQ, you, you do not see, see it's grayed out, so you don't see anything. The screen is also grayed out. When you create, schedule a live online class, and I encourage you to do that as a way to learn, 
By the way, in September, we are going to have workshops where you will have a chance to teach on WizIQ uh, in small groups so that we can help. I'll be uh, helping out. Once the class begins, the break, you notice that it's no longer grayed out. You can now see the breakout room. You can also see the screen sharing apparatus. Okay, that's just uh, something that you may want to know. When you go into the breakout room, um, we're going to be, you'll, you'll know about it, Guadalupe. You'll be scheduling, I'll be scheduling classes, we'll be, and you will be presenting in the virtual class. Okay, so we'll be working together. And then you edit room. You can go to room and you can delete room. Well, you can always delete, right? And this is what it looks like. This is what the breakout room on WizIQ looks like. As you can see, you go into the attendees over here and you open it up and then you are able to put people into groups very easily. So number one, you first need to create a group before you can put the participants, the attendees, into a group. Okay, that's number one. Number two, okay, you can move people into the group. So let's say I have uh, nine people. I will have maybe three breakout rooms. I will create three rooms and then I will move people to the rooms. I can do this arbitrarily or I can simply go one, two, three into group one, four, five, six into another group two, seven, eight, nine into group three. It's really a lot of fun. That's why you need. If you want to try it out, you can bring your colleagues, you can bring your friends, bring a lot of people and then just uh, play around with it. Okay, you can invite me, just invite everybody. Yes, exactly, Mark. That's how it's done. But you need to create the groups within. This is now the main group. Number three, you start your break up, breakout session. Don't forget number three. Exactly, Mark. That's right. It's very, very intuitive once it happens. And this is Mark and other. This is what it looks like. Okay, the breakout room feature. It's a feature on WizIQ. So as you can see, this is the menu, Mark, that you just mentioned. All the rooms. And then I created, there's the main room where everyone is, and then room one, two, and three. And then I can move the attendees, see there are no attendees, into room one, two, and so on. Okay, so it's really, really a picture. Mark, what do you mean a picture? You don't see the picture? Oh, you do. All right. So that's how it works. Okay, it is an image at this time. Okay, now these are the participants of this class. But uh, as you can see, only 12 joined. And I think that includes me, if I'm not mistaken. So 11, okay, joined. So we're not going to break out and deal with uh, over a thousand attendees. But this could happen. Technically, it could happen. You could have 5,000 attendees. And I'm hoping that in the near future, that's what's going to happen. It will happen. And in the very near future, you know, in a, in a year or two, um, it's going to happen fast. We're going to have a lot of participants, a lot of attendees in our live sessions. So get ready for it. I mean, I've had over, I think, 800 in one session. It's quite an experience, okay, because everything moves really fast. Technology is ready, but there's a lot more that needs to be done, okay? So we would divide the 5,000. It would take some time to divide the 5,000, okay? But um, that's something for the future. 
Yes. No, you don't, <laughs> Rob. <laughs> yes, you do have to monitor. But all right. So this is an example uh, of a breakout room. Okay, that I was showing you before. It's a regular room, but notice what happens in this room. And I want you to pay attention. What is going on? And ro ro what do you, I won't, I don't want to tell you too much. So tell me what, uh, what you see, describe what you see, and then we'll talk about what you think about what you see. Oh, Jennifer, you can never do it before class. You can only do it during the session. It has to be live. I don't know uh, when you came, if you came in, um, but it, if I go back to the previous, um, uh, let's go back. You'll notice that the breakout room cannot start before the session. It only starts once, uh, but if you know ahead of time, and it is possible to know ahead of time, uh, so that you can mentally maybe figure it out, but you'll only be able to do it during the live session when people are there. People have to be in to be able to do that. You can't do it in advance, but I'm hoping that one teacher per room, yes. Okay, there's, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a teacher. Uh, this particular person could be just the leader, okay? And that's what happens. One person leads, and you can change the leadership roles. So one leads, and then you share. But it's one at a time, share the leadership roles. Now, I don't know how you feel about this, okay? You know, what your sense is for leadership, can you have more than one person leading at the same time, okay? Do you think that would be effective if everyone leads the same time? Okay, I'm sure that... In, uh, not many would say yes at the same time because even in a band or you know an orchestra it's um it's one conductor because otherwise it would be chaotic exactly so you take turns okay so one person leading and then he sits down then someone else comes up and leads so you and that's what happens in the breakout rooms on Wiz IQ as well Okay, you can change the leadership roles. Now, notice what the leader has, because this is exactly what happens in a virtual class. So what does the leader have? He's got control, but notice he also has resources. He has a PC, that's right. Okay, and he also has, he actually has two, right? He's got his own, and there's also, so you could have a monitor, and each one takes turns. And he's got speaking rights, okay? He's the one speaking, and everyone is listening. Of course, they can take turns and speak, but you don't all speak at the same time. Same thing with a virtual breakout room. You don't speak at the same time. But it's not like this, what's happening right now in the main room where I'm speaking and you have no chance to speak. You don't have the microphones right now, okay? Because it could be too many people. Uh, Jennifer, what happens is that during the breakout session, each one receives their leadership. It's the teacher. Whoever is leading the class, in this case, I would be the person leading the class, I would give the leadership roles. So I'm the one that divides the class the, into the groups, into the rooms, and I'm the one who gives. Okay, so we're going to try it out. And uh, right now, okay, we've got uh, plenty of time. And... Um, I'm going to uh, place you in, I'm going to organize it. And I'm going to screen share as I do this so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, but before we get started, I'd like to ask you, uh, first of all, if you know anything about our place in the family, what does it mean, our place in the family? And you can see from the information that's there, there's a lot of information in the questions that will help you understand 
Okay, so what does it mean place in the family from this perspective? That's right. Very good, Jennifer. That's right. Another way of saying it is birth order. Hierarchy. Nice. Okay, Carl. That's right. It is a kind of hierarchy and you'll be uh, doing that. Okay. So that's just uh, what we're going to be doing. And then I'm going to screen share and put you. That's right. Way of thinking. Very good, Guadalupe. Okay. So start thinking about that as I screen share. Now I'm on a Mac. For the Mac, I'm using Safari. I can't use a um, desktop, WizIQ desktop on the Mac yet. They will be having it. If you're using a PC, you are able to use the screen sharing apparatus in a very, very good way. It's a lot easier, okay, because it's a PC. All right, so I'm going to take away my um, webcam okay for this because I see that all right so there I am so now I'm going to screen share if the chat box has gone down to the bottom you can pop it in you can have it in the center you can have it anywhere and if the attendee list has gone down you can pop it in there's an arrow so notice that things may have gone down to the bottom of the screen on your computer, but you can still use the chat box as we go. So just let me know if um, what you see right now is the virtual classroom with IQ. Okay, just give me a thumbs up if you can see that. And then we'll get going with the screen sharing. Okay, very good, Mark. Now, this will depend on your connection because we've got participants from all over the world and everybody has different connections and uh, it could be good one day, bad another, depends on the hour and so on. Where's IQ and I believe Adobe Connect and Collaborate, they all do the same thing. They kind of um, get everybody's connections uh, organized in such a way that if someone has a slow connection, you will receive the message that your connection is slow. Please uh, uh, stop your video, your camera, and so on. So it's not you that is having the slow connection. It's everyone together as a result of uh, others. So we're actually sharing, okay, our connectivity. So don't take it personally. It's probably not you. All right, so I'm going to go into the breakout room, and I hope you can all see it. Uh, there we are. Okay, the breakout room is next to the question mark. Just let me know in the chat box if you can see where it says breakout room. Okay, give me a smiley if you can see, not a thumbs up or down. Give me a smiley or some face if you see uh, the breakout room icon, or it's not really uh, words at the top. Just choose a smiley there. Oh, we've got 12 people. Excellent. That's what I was hoping for. People will be coming in. By the way, if latecomers come in, that's not a problem. I can place, well, the moderator can place everyone. All right, so I'm going to click on breakout room. Hello, Maria. I think you're the one that just came in. Notice I clicked on breakout room, and it says exactly what you saw before. It says edit room, go to room, and delete room. Does everybody see that? I'm going to keep asking you. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you can see edit room, go to room. Thumbs up this time. Excellent. Okay, I see one person can see it. That means everyone can see it. Thumbs down. You don't see edit room. Okay, so I'll wait around. All right. That's our connections. All right. Okay, uh, now you do. Excellent. Okay, you see, Rob, you still don't. Okay, that's Guadalupe does. Wonderful. Rob, we're waiting for you. Okay, so this has to do, not yet, Rob. Rob, I hope you're not using um, Chrome. Chrome seems to have um, problems for those who use it. Still on edit room. Okay. Oh, you're in Bra No, Brazil internet is fine. No problem with Brazil. Oh, you are, and it's okay, Jennifer. That's good to hear. 
Oh, you're at the World Cup. No wonder you can't see anything. You're too focused on that. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So uh, I'm going to click on, I don't have a room yet. So I'm going to go into edit room. Okay. And this is what I see. Okay. I hope you can see that I'm going to go to a whiteboard so you don't see anything in the background. Okay. I'll make this larger so you don't. Okay. I can make everything. I can enlarge anything and everything. Okay, because it's modular, so notice I'm making it larger. You'll be able to see this uh, through um, YouTube because I'm going to be, I'm recording it through Camtasia. All right, so what you can see now, and I hope you can, oh, now you do, Rob. Okay, well, there you go. All right, glad to have you. All right, now you're seeing breakout session. Just let, give me um, a face now, okay? Breakout session, breakout Okay, smile. Um, did I say smile or <laughs> breakout? All right, good to go. All right, so you notice this way you can tell how your students are managing as far as uh, their connections when you're screen sharing. All right, so notice what I'm going to do now. First of all, what do I have to do? You tell me. What do I need to do first? Let's see if you've been paying attention. What do I do first? I've got the attendees. That's right. So I create a room. It's really a lot of fun, you know. So invite us and practice. So I click on create room. Okay. And then I need to, before I delete it, I need to, uh, it says edit name. Edit name means give it a name. I know it's confusing, but edit means write. Okay. So I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it room one. Remember I told you I'm going to make it simple. Call it room one. You can call it different things. We can change rooms afterwards, by the way. Okay. And uh, if we have time, we will. Okay. So room one. Okay. Now let me create another room. This time I'm going to edit and call it, of course, uh, room. Yeah. It takes time. Notice it takes time. So in the meantime, you might want your students to go and do something while you're taking care of this. Uh, stay in the room but also okay in room number three edit room three okay you can't do it in advance that's uh okay okay so i've got three rooms now okay now i'm going to put people in their rooms okay so i've got all the rooms notice main room that's where everybody is and i see someone left us so we've got 12 Okay, so uh, let's start. I see two rooms have the same look. Okay, I made a mistake. Uh, so two rooms have the same name. So now I really have to edit and call it room one. Okay, which is fine. And then I'm going to go to room one and nothing happens. I've got no people. Okay, so uh, that's not what I do. I go to all rooms and then I'm going to start putting people away. So I'll click on one, two, three, four. I want three rooms and then I'll put those in room one. I hope you're seeing this. Okay. And then I can move everyone move. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to all rooms again and nothing happens. What I do is I need to first start session. Okay, once I start session, I'm able to now play around. Okay, so don't forget to start session. Now, one, two, three, four, and I'll move them. Not everybody. One, two, three, four, and move everyone to room one. Okay, now it's working. Notice, if it doesn't work, it's because you have to start session. And then that's room one. Now you're going there, by the way. Okay, four, I'm going to move you to room two. Move, let's see, room two. Okay, and you notice they didn't room, didn't move because I didn't click on move to room. Okay, so notice again, one, two, three, four, and then move. Okay, move. One, two, three, four, and I want them to move to room two. 
Okay, now they're in room two. And then I have one person less, but that's okay. I'm going to move them to room three. Okay, so you notice you've got the list here. You know where everybody is. Okay, let me know if you see the rooms all set up. Give me thumbs up if you see the rooms set up. Okay, so you know what? Give me a star if you see a room set up. A star. Why am I moving there? I'm moving you to each one of your rooms. Okay, so... Uh, but you can't do it because you're, you're in your rooms. Okay, everybody's in their room now, so they can't do this. All right, now I'm going to go and bring you back. Okay, let me bring you back. Okay, I'm going to bring everybody back to the main room. I'm going to bring you back to the main room. Okay, I've brought you back to the main room. Now, why did I bring you back to the main room? Because I want to talk to you. Okay, so give me a star if you saw all that. Okay, give me a star if you went into a room and you saw some strange things happening. Okay. All right. So I put you in your rooms and now I took you out of your rooms so that, but I didn't end the breakout. I just wanted to speak to you. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go into the main rooms because what I want to do now is I want to put you in your rooms and we've got one person less. Notice, two, three, one person less now. So let me put you back in your rooms. And as I put you back in your rooms, I'm going to give you leadership roles. Okay, so let me do that. There, we've got exactly the number that we need. We've got nine. All right, now I'm going to go into your rooms. So let's go into, and I'm going to give you make you leaders okay make leaders okay let's see if I okay I'll make leaders I just made leaders and I'm gonna go into room one okay now I'm in room one hello everybody in room one um, give me a star if uh, oh there you are give me a star if you see your leader and your leader is Carl Okay, very good. So we've got Mark, Lopez, and Carl. Carl is the leader. Carl, do you have your audio? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, you've got it. I heard you. Okay, so you guys are going to be working on the questions. And I hope you got that. The questions were, what is your place in the family? Okay, so discuss your place in the family. All right. Are you the oldest, the youngest, an only child, and so on? And what does it feel like? Just um, talk about that. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Okay, so discuss your place or your order in the family. I'm going to go into the next room, so see you later. All right, so right now I'm in room number two. And I'm going to make, uh, uh, let's see, I'll make Mark the leader. So Mark, you're the leader? Do you have, I don't see that you have a webcam, so let me make Guadalupe the leader. She doesn't have a webcam either. So Rob, let's see if you've, you haven't got one either. How many of you have a, uh, I know you can hear me. How many of you have um, a mic? Oh, there you are. Good for you, Rob. Yay. Okay, so Rob is there. Rob, uh, you're going to be leading a discussion on excellence. I just hope you can speak. You're going to be leading a discussion uh, you can see me as well there. All right. Uh, you can discussing the role, your role in the family. Okay. So Rob, Maria and Guadalupe discuss your role. Are the oldest, the youngest? What does it feel like? I'll let you talk about that and I, I won't disturb you. All right. So go ahead. Enjoy. Okay. So I'm going to leave that room and I'm going to go into uh, room number three. All right, so let, hello everybody. I'm going to make, I've just made Jennifer the lead. Okay, so Jennifer, I don't see that you have a webcam. Um, can you guys hear me? Just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me in room number three.
no, Jennifer. Ah, there you are. Hi, Jennifer. No, the uh, the sequence. <laughs> good to know. You look great. Uh, the sequence is actually um, you start the breakout room breakout session before you select the attendees. In other words, you can't really move them until you start the breakout session. So that comes first, just uh, for your information there. So what you're going to do, you're going to lead uh, this um, team, this breakout room on order of the family. So uh, find out where everyone is in the family, how they feel about it and so on. So that's the discussion. And um, I'm going to share a link with you. So you can read uh, this article on this subject. Okay, um, here's the article. You can discuss that. Okay, I'm adding it to the chat uh, for you. Okay, so there it is for everyone in room three. So go ahead, enjoy yourselves. Remember, this is a learning experience. Don't worry about anything. Um, you know, okay, so I'll leave you and go on to the next. Okay, so is everything clear here? So Jennifer, you can speak. Everyone will hear you. In other words, Peter, Sil Silvina, uh, and Silvina will hear you. They're oh. hearing you. So you're with them. <laughs> okay. So yeah. And I'm going to leave you guys. Yeah. Can, I have a can I have a thumbs up? Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So, um, okay. I'm in the main room now, but uh, let me go to room number uh, one. The control seat. Okay, so uh, Mar um, Carl, let me share. Um, there it is. There's everybody can hear you, Carl, in the group. You've got Lopez and Mark. This that's the article that you might want to read on the order, your order in the family, and find out where everyone is. Are they firstborn and so on, and then be ready to discuss it in the main room. Right now, you can teach in this uh, small room. And I uh, see someone has joined us, so I'll I'll bring this person to the room. Okay, so if you have any questions, I'll be around going from room to room. So I'll leave you guys. Okay, yeah, I, I still uh, see the uh, screen the screen sharing from the uh, from the main. Oh, I'll get room. rid of it. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. I'll get rid of it. You don't need it anymore because um, yeah, I'll get rid of that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. You, that was just for, uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. I, yeah. Excuse me. Okay, so hello, Alexander. I'm going to move you to a room. We're doing a breakout room. So, Alexander, I'm going to move you into room three. Okay, so you'll be with two other people in room three. Jennifer is there. All right, so is everybody, nobody can hear me now. I took off the screen sharing. I'm going to make this, you can see I can make this larger. Everybody's talking in their rooms. I can drop by and see what they're saying. Or I can go have some coffee on my own and let them continue. All right, there's someone else here. I think I'll add them. You notice people are coming in. You'll see this in the recording. Um, I'm going to add them to room number one, okay. So Mustafa was added to room number one. I can change the leadership role so that everybody gets a chance. So I'll give uh, Mark the lead now. Okay, Mark, you've got the lead. So you can uh, take over. This is just for practice. You've also got um, someone new here, Mustafa. Oh. Okay, so just go ahead. Feel uh, comfortable. It's just a practice drill. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm changing the roles here. I changed the role in room number, uh, room number one. Let me do the same in room number. Okay, so how are you guys doing? Oh, we're doing 
Oh, we're doing great. We're learning a lot about each other. We have two of us are middle children, and we have one old. Okay, two. all right. So uh, we're going to um, go back to the main room in about a minute or two. Okay, so get ready to um, share your discussions. Okay, so, all right. Okay, great. Very good. Speaker, do I need to activate the microphones again? Okay. Okay. So how do I activate those? You mean for others? Yeah. Oh, you want yeah. everybody to speak at the same time? Can I do that? Yes. Can I can. do that? I can't for my end, by the way. But you've got more rights right now than I do because I, I can't really. Yeah. Ooh. So um, go for it. <laughs> How do I do that, though? I How do I do that, though? I don't um, see. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll give Carl. Maybe Carl can do it. If I'll give Carl. Sure. Carl, do you sure. think you can do that? Uh, okay, let me give the lead. Okay, Carl, I gave you the lead. Can you give everyone mic rights? Yep. All right, okay, yes. perfect. I'm, I'm going to give you another uh, two minutes, okay, and then we'll go back to the room, and you can discuss uh, what you went through, <laughs> the process, okay? So I'll leave this room. Okay, I'm going to go into room number two. See if there's anything. See if there's anything else to agree or agree with in the article. I'm going to go past the scenarios and see if there's more information to talk about. Okay, so we uh, a few newcomers came in. Oh, I see one just left. Um, so that's part of the online environment where people come and go. I've extended the class uh, just for your information. Uh, there's a lot that can be done. This is just a drill, so uh, it's just for the experience. Um, for this to work well, everyone should have uh, working mics. Webcam would be nice as well so that they can share in the leadership and everyone can view uh, everyone else. It gives it a sense of real face-to-face. -face. Feeling so I think that's that's really important. Okay, I'm gonna move everyone out now notice how this is done and um, I'm going to screen share to show that Okay, the reason is that everybody's in their room and they can't really see this. Okay, so I'm going to screen share by, uh, and this is how it's done. You simply go into end breakout session, and that's what happens. Okay, I've just done that, and I can restart it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to remove that, and now everybody is back. Okay, and they'll be able to see that later on. All right, so we're back back okay I've just screen shared how we came back and um, we're back okay so we're now back in the uh, main room if you'll be watching the um, the YouTube video and you'll see exactly what I was doing I think it's really important which is one of the reasons why I screen share through Camtasia and have everything on YouTube or Vimeo I actually prefer Vimeo as a way to see what's going on. All right, so you you were in your breakout rooms. Um, if you could just give me a thumbs up, thumbs down as a general how you feel or any other. Okay, so how did it feel if you had to grade it or just react to it by using one of the uh, smileys? I can tell you what it was like for me with my tongue out. All right, you didn't see the controls, Jennifer. Okay, practicing in room two, and you liked room two. All right, Guadalupe. Uh, it says enable, works nice. Peter, okay, it gives you 
rest. <laughs> yes, it gave me rest. I can tell you that. I can go off and have my coffee and I can leave. I can actually, as the moderator of the session, I can actually go off and come back an hour later or something. So it does give you... Um, you didn't see controls if you didn't... Carl, did you... Um, yeah, because you saw the screen sharing. You got the controls. Okay, so Carl managed to get the controls. Okay, as a leader, you do have full controls. As a moderator, you do not. In other words, I can't give you uh, writing, microphone, or webcam controls. In the Only the leader can do that. Okay, so this is something that you might want to practice. And again, I suggest we get, you get together and get people into your uh, classroom so you can practice this and set it up and see what it feels like. You really have to experience it. Okay, so let's get to the place in the family. So you explored your place. I'm going to give you uh, speaking rights. So who would like to begin? We can start with room one. Who were the members of room? Who was the leader of room one or leaders? I also let you uh, rotate. So Carl... Okay, that's room one. Okay, Carl, what did you learn about place in the family? So, Carl, let me give you um, the writing tools. Oh, somebody's still stuck in room three. How could that be? Um, oh, someone left the room and they were stuck in the room. All right, so that's crazy. All right, so Carl, if you could share. Okay, I'll give you um, the mic. And then we also have, yes, go okay. ahead. Uh, yes, I, I try to uh, share the um, share the web page that, that you gave us there, Nelly, to have a look at the uh, place in the family. Uh, I, I couldn't seem to do a screen share within the uh, the breakout room to show the room exactly what I was looking at and, and pointing to. I just didn't get the option to uh, to screen share. Initially, myself and Mark uh, started to uh, talk about our place in the family on a personal level, um, uh, where, where we actually are within our, um, our actual family. Uh, we didn't actually uh, realize that you would bring up a web page to discuss this uh, family um from the information given but uh yeah we, we quickly found out our place in the family um i'm i'm the youngest uh did you say you were the uh, the middle uh middle child in the family mark um lopez we couldn't uh, establish uh, voice controls uh for some reason uh, we we weren't connecting with uh, with lopez on that level not too sure what the problem was some some technical difficulties uh, um, I think with the uh, the Adobe flash player um, but yeah it was uh, it was an experience and um, yeah I'd, I'd like to do uh, to do more of that um, I've, I've never really had an opportunity to uh, do many uh, breakout rooms my lessons normally I don't uh, get that many students in, in, in the lesson to split them up into groups. So what I normally do is what we did in the breakout room and give everybody the controls and we, um, we, we speak when, when we feel necessary. Uh, when we want to uh, give some input into the, uh, into the okay. class. Um, yeah. yeah. How, did, how did you thank find you. it? Uh, All right. right. Thank you so much, Carl. Notice we're... One of the things with a virtual classroom is that we, we do still focus on, um, on technology instead of focusing on the topic. And this is something that you're going to be seeing with your students too, your virtual students or blended, that uh, the online environment is still something new to most of us, most people. And they focus more on the technology than on the content. The content was your place in the family. Uh, so I've given uh, the other leader, I've given Jennifer. Jennifer, I don't see you. Um, 
Can you hear me? But I can. Can hear you hear me? Yes. All right. So Jennifer, can you share what um, what you learned? So there were just two of us in our breakout room. We weren't certain if there was a third, <laughs> but it was quite quiet at first. Um, so we looked at the article, and apparently we were both able to access the article from that link. So we were able to scan it, and um, we found out that I, my partner, Peter, is the youngest of six, <laughs> and I was the youngest of three for 13 years, and then a younger brother was born. So I had the experience of being the youngest and a middle child. And we both agree that there are a whole lot more factors than just birth order. There's um, gender, for example, or youngest of sisters, youngest of brothers. Um, you know, so that uh, culture, gender, there's other factors. We actually were thinking more nature versus nurture. Um, so the labels didn't quite fit, especially in my case. I wasn't the life of the party. I was more the high achiever. <laughs> so we didn't quite agree with the labels. So we brought in the issue of nature versus nature, nature versus nurture. But um, and we only discussed with me talking and Peter watching me and listening to me, and he texted back because I wasn't certain how to give him control if I didn't see that option. That's great. So you did manage to do, I mean, technology was not something that you focused on. You focused on the, uh, uh, on the family and your ideas on the family. So that, that's really good. Yeah. Actually just yeah. That's, uh, that's very good actually. Okay. So yeah, try to get your students, you know, as the moderator, the teacher to focus on, um, on what you're doing, on the learning, and not so much on the how, on the tools that you're using. Okay, but in this case, of course, we're uh, we're practicing the breakout rooms, so that was natural. Who was the other person? Um, was it Rob? Yes, I believe Rob had the controls, and anyone else in that? Rob, you had controls. Did I miss anyone else? Yeah. Uh, who else was there? Were you with? You were with Carl, right? Is that correct? I was Guadalupe. And oh, okay, Maria. right. So, did you share the leadership, or was it just you? I'm, I'm... No, I actually uh, one of the problems I teach on WizIQ for the past oh, few months, and with the slow internet, it was mm -hmm. ill. it's very difficult to get the controls to come through. So I actually didn't have the controls to be able to change anything. So we actually discussed the content instead of looking at the technology and trying to, uh, you know, change around leadership roles. So we talked about the leadership roles in the family. Instead. Good. So what did you um, what did you find out? What did you learn? Well, um, I'm the middle child of two families. Maria is the middle child of one family, and I believe the youngest of the other. And Guadalupe is an only child. And we basically came to the conclusion that no matter when you were born, it depends how functional your family is. <laughs> so it was it was interesting discussing you know the differences that. Um, People think the middle child usually gets lost, and I think in Maria's, in my case, we both fought a little bit harder um, to break out of that, so we became more competitive, and Guadalupe had no one to compete with. And no, it's not the stairs, it's the blinds. I have uh, sugar loaf is behind me. It's distracting. No, actually, actually, your uh, you know, it looks great. I mean, your audio's coming through really well, and and your webcam too. So, um, I'm not sure where the connectivity yeah. is, but it's and and why. But this is something that maybe support can help. All right. So thank you, uh, thank you very much uh, for that, for trying things out and being um, so good at it. It's really about experimenting and being willing to make mistakes and for the sake of learning, you know, for nothing else. All right, so this is the uh, the article. It's by uh, Gail Gross on human behavior, and it's on Huffington. There are lots and lots of um, 
articles and ideas about uh, your place in the family. Uh, I've been doing this throughout the years. It's a, it's a good um, icebreaker because people get talking about themselves and so on. So it's just something uh, that they do. All right, our session is actually over. And uh, the rest is up to you. Uh, if you could reflect on your experiences, what it was like, come to conclusions um, for now. But the process goes on and I'm looking forward to seeing how things work. So I want to thank you uh, for coming. It's late for many people, late in the afternoon anyways. And for others, it could be in the middle of the night. So thank you for joining us. Wonderful to connect. And um, we'll see you next week. Look out for um, YouTube because you're going to see some interesting things that you couldn't see during the uh, session on what I was doing exactly. All right. So thank you, everyone. Bye for now.